What's happening, man? I'm back with another one, gang. With another one. Man, check it out, man. Y'all been watching that hurricane hit, man. That shit crazy to me. And I say it's crazy to me because, like, my city ain't never experienced no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't even know what it feel like for a hurricane up here. Like, we, we, we had big major storms and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, storms knock over trees and shit like that. Like, um, actually, what, last month or so, it was some storms, my nigga, that pulled the motherfucking sidewalk up out the road. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and the trees knocked all over crazy. But uh, as far as a hurricane, earthquake and shit, like the shit that's been going on on the other side of the earth, my nigga, like the shit that's going on way over there on the other side of the earth or on this end of the earth, we ain't never experienced that shit over here in the Midwest. I don't give a fuck what a motherfucker told you. Like, we ain't experiencing that shit, my nigga. Like, a lot of that shit, we ain't even ready for. I remember, I remember me and my niggas, you, we, we used to sit and talk about shit like, uh, like the shit that's going on in Afghanistan. Y'all think we really ready for some shit like that? Hell no, my nigga. Not the Midwest. Not the dirty Midwest. We ain't ready for no motherfucking smoke like them boys from the Afghan. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't give a fuck how many straps a motherfucker got up here in sticks. You can have all that shit. The difference is, them motherfuckers out there willing to die for their country or die for what they believe in type shit of their country type shit. These motherfuckers are suicide bombers and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got motherfuckers who actually strapping vests to themselves and the vests is fully equipped with bombs, my nigga. Bombs that can take out blocks. You think Midwest niggas will get down like that? You think this city niggas will get down like that? Hell no. Nah. Ain't no motherfucking way in hell, nigga. Ain't nobody up here finna get down like that. Ain't nobody up here finna get down like that, gang. Ain't nobody running up in no motherfucking building with no with no bomb vest on him, you know what I'm saying? And finna blow this motherfucker up. Hell no. Nah. That's crazy, and that's what I mean. Like, our city ain't ready for no shit like that. Hey, and then even like 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 I, like I was saying with the hurricanes and, and, and the earthquakes and shit. Let that shit take place over here. We will not be ready. A lot of us will be fucked up and stuck. Hey, a lot of us don't even know the survival tactics. Say if a lot of us was homeless and had nowhere to go, we had to be out here in the wilderness, in the forest. You know what I'm saying? In, in some tropical forest or some shit like that. Like, say if we was placed in another state and had to do this shit like on some Hunger game shit. Y'all think we'll really know how to survive and be out there? A lot of motherfuckers don't even know how to spark a fire. A lot of motherfuckers don't even know how to spark or fire, bro. Really. You know what I'm saying? Think about that, man. Have you? Do you and your niggas know how to spark or fire? Do you and your niggas ever sit around and talk about that shit when y'all getting chopped? Like, bro, you know how to make a tent. Hey, bro, you know how to fish. Hey, bro, you know how to skin a fish. Hey, bro, you know how to start a fire. Hey, bro, you know how to... You know what I'm saying? Do anybody got survival tactics? You see what I'm saying? Like, the people over there that's going through that shit they're going through right now overseas, they got to have survival tactics. They they don't just get muscle memory. Them motherfucking superhero brains kick in, my nigga, and they just take off. They they take off. Y'all see this shit. If some of y'all be watching CNN and some of y'all be peeping around the world watching different news channels and shit, y'all will see what's going on. And y'all will also see how these people is attending to their people with help. Dog, you know what I'm saying? Like over there in Haiti, they couldn't even get no FEMA help because they don't got that. And America wasn't sending it. You feel me? Shitty as hell. But at the end of the day, like, they, they survival tactics kicked in. And that was amazing, man. That was, like, God-given. Like, that was amazing, my nigga. At the end of the day, I would have expected somebody to send some help over there to them people. Real life. Send some help. It's kids, children. <coughs> <coughs> Y'all, you don't nobody <coughs> give a fuck about that. Motherfuckers probably over here in America like shit long as we ain't going through that shit. That shit crazy. That's weak as hell. I wouldn't feel like that like long as we ain't going through that shit, my nigga. If I got the means and the necessity, I'm going I'm to probably send help. You know, send troops or some shit if I was the president. But we can't speak for him. You feel me? At the end of the day, we can't speak for him. Um, to me, it's just crazy. Like, gang, do you know the survival tactic skills they had to use uh, to stay alive? 
My bad, gang. But yeah, man, them survival tactics kicked in. The shit got real, you know? And it's like, it's real like that daily everywhere, though. And that's that's the shit we got to understand out here, bro. Like, don't take shit for granted. You know, the topic of this conversation is to never take shit for granted. Because them people over there, I don't know if they took shit for granted or I ain't saying they didn't. You know, um, but man, look look what happened, man. That shit can happen anytime. That shit can happen anywhere in the world. I think about that shit all the time. Like, what if that shit kicked over here in the Midwest? What if that shit happened in my state? You know what I'm saying? How would we react? Do my city even make a plan for that? Do do the black culture even sit around and talk about this? Like, hey, yo, if this was to ever happen, you know what I'm saying? Or if this was to ever happen, if that was to ever happen, this is what we're going to do as a community, as a whole. Hell no, nah, my nigga. Hell no. Nah. You know, in my city, they drilling like a motherfucker. It's people getting dropped everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Now they bringing the children, killing shit up here. Like, even though kids been dying, like, you know, every so often, but not about gunshots, bro. Like, just because dumbass niggas out here can't shoot, shooting for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas too happy they got a pistol. Or niggas trying to prove themselves to some bitch ass gang that ain't gonna do nothing for their family when they die. Like, damn, the shit crazy. If you ask me, the shit crazy. But, like, the survival tactics for us, would it be like theirs? Will we react how they react overseas or, you know, like, how will we react? Will we be clustered? Y'all know when power outages happen and shit, I made a video about that shit, though. Like, when power outages be happening up here in my city or my state, sometimes people don't know how to act. People going to a frenzy, you know what I'm saying? A mental breakdown, oh, my God. They don't know what the fuck to do. Shit crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we got to think like that. Oh, my mama, we got to think on a scale like that because anything can break out, gang. You don't know what's happening. You can't take nothing for granted out here, gang. You can't. Like, you got to be real smart about everything. You got to treat life real strategic. And it's almost like <clears throat> trying to market yourself and promote your own shit. You got to be strategic with it. You really do. You got to be strategic with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to tell you that, but you already know that shit in your own head. You know, and I treat life like that, my nigga. I treat this shit like the Hunger Games because you never know what could pop off at any moment. You know what I'm saying? The same way as you driving down the road, my nigga, and the car fly through the red light and hit you and you ain't even expecting it. You got to expect the unexpected. And, and um, you know, man, from the looks of it around the world, bro, everything is going crazy. I don't just be peeping into the hood scenes either, but I do like to get the hood shit known because a lot of motherfuckers don't be knowing that. A lot of motherfuckers do, but a lot of motherfuckers don't. So it's always good. And then if they do, they only know about certain areas of in certain hoods. Motherfucker don't know about my city and my state, you know. Like so, at the end of the day, yo. And then again, motherfuckers do know about my city and my state because my city and my state got some shiesty, grimy ass niggas too, man. Some fuck niggas I don't fuck with, like some snake ass niggas, goofies. You know what I'm saying? They make the whole city hot, and that's what that's what's fucking it up, like. These black niggas, man, make the whole city hot. Every black nigga in the city be hot behind the shit that's going on. And at that time, your survival tactics got to get in and kick in because you don't know what's popping, my nigga. Police get the raiding shit, pulling shit over. You know what I'm saying? Freeze, killing motherfuckers. All type of shit. The shit crazy, gang. It's crazy. Like, I don't know if y'all understand me, but what I'm saying, my nigga, most definitely is the real. Like, hell yeah, that shit popping. And if you don't live here, you wouldn't understand. If you do live here, you most definitely understand. And if you don't understand and you live here, my niggas, because you ain't in the same area I am. You probably from some bone, uh, bone fuck part of uh, town. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know nothing about the the, uh, the inner. You don't know nothing about the inner or what's popping in the inner city. So, you know. Like, that shit real shit, though, gang. Like, a motherfucker don't know nothing about the inner, man. A lot of people don't be knowing shit about the city. That's like a lot of niggas don't be knowing shit about nobody else's city. They know a lot about their own city, but yeah. <coughs> They're jack on it. <coughs> like, will our survival tactics be on point if that shit was to happen? I think about shit like that, gang. I think... I'm like, damn, I don't know. I know mine's with my nigga, and I'm going to prepare my family. Oh, my mama, I'm going to put everybody on gang. Hey, y'all get ready. 
hey, y'all, this is finna pop off like that. That's finna pop off like this. I'm putting niggas on, on points and positions for this operation that's gonna take place. Like, look, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna do it. This is where we're gonna need to be. This is how we're gonna get there. <clears throat> Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on that other fuck shit. Like, nigga, I'm on that. Like, I'm, I'm, I gotta keep the people cool. You know? Yes, sir. But man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, 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 hey, in the comic session, y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all think we'd be ready for them hurricanes? Like Hurricane what? Heidi or Haiti? Whatever it's called. Or um, y'all think we'd be ready for them 7.2 earthquakes, man, up in the, uh, in the Midwest? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you from the Midwest, then you able to answer. But if you can't, then, I mean, still coming anyway. What you think? Anywhere. Anywhere. Even if it's not happening in your state. You think so? Man. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you have, man, shit, hit that like and that share button. And hit that notification button, man, so we can get these views up and get the videos popping in the algorithm. But um, to the next video, man, Colonel Slaughter out, y'all. Keep y'all heads up, man. And stay safe out there, man.